So this morning, I'm still attacking this mess that has to go into storage here in Florida. And the problem with storage in Florida is cockroaches and silverfish. Two things I'm going to do that's really going to help me, especially since I have so much paper and cockroaches love paper. Go figure. One thing I do is I make sure I tape every crevice and every hole in my boxes. I'll do this on the bottom, go across. You don't want any seams open. I'll do that again at the top because if you look in my box and if I can catch the light right, you can see the holes, right? See the holes? Well, that's taped over now and the cockroaches are not going to be able to get through that. They'll get through anything. And silverfish. As a matter of fact, I saw some of my tape had like puckered up from the humidity and the cockroach got stuck in the tape. And that's how I found it on top of a box. And I just ripped the old tape off, threw them away and put a new piece on. So it's very effective. The other thing you could do if you, you know, don't mind dealing with the powdery borax is you can put some borax in the bottom of your boxes, especially if you have a lot of paper. Um, it kills silverfish, it kills uh, cockroaches. So um, I'm going to borax the whole floor of my storage unit, especially the edges in the corners. They like to walk along the walls. And I also will put bait in there so they die quickly and don't chew up my paper. And you have to change those really once a month. They say three months, but don't you count on that. It doesn't. There's sometimes so many of them that they're having a buffet, you know. So in this box that I've just uh, put together, I'm going to put the majority of my TENS units. Let me show them to you. I have three TENS units. I have the Omron, which I really don't like. It shuts off after 15 minutes, and sometimes I need it on all day. They say, oh, you shouldn't do that. Well, I have to. So I'm, I'm going to put that in storage, take the batteries out of everything, or you'll have corrosion and a ruined piece. I like this one a lot because you can close the controls. and Like if you're driving with one of these on and they say don't, um, and, and you accidentally hit one of the buttons, it'll shock the crap out of you. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm going to keep this one out. This is my favorite, but I'm going to mark these other ones. And along with these, I have my electrodes. Now that Omcron, is that what it's called? Omron? It, it uses this type, which I also don't like, and that's why it's going into storage. Uh, the one I'm keeping uses the little square electrodes. So I'll keep some of these out with my favored uh, TENS unit, and everything else will go in a marked box, and that box might even go in one of those black drawers uh, that I bought for my van life, which isn't going to happen right now. There's going to be very little space available for me. I I'm not going to encroach on my grandson's life um, more than to the extent that I have to. So this is my um, drawers for um, all of the stuff that was in my bathroom, toiletries, and medical is now in this, and I'm going to tape these shut and every every single crack that they could get into the drawers and that's probably going to have to include up here as well oh, yeah that's really really open i might have to take a big i have um black construction bags i think i'm just going to put the whole thing in a construction bag and tie it up this is my black drawers here and I think what I'm going to do is put things that are already Ziploc baggied or in small enough um, containers that will fit right in. 
this is taped up. That's why it won't open. So I'll put the boxes directly in here, and I'm not going to do that until it's brought empty, because like this one too, it's very heavy now. And what I'm going to do is pull the drawers out, haul it over to where I'm going, my storage, and then put it in the construction bag and tie it tight. It's the only way to keep bugs out in Florida. Yeah. Well, that's all I'm going to say today about moving. Now I'm going to get on it because I have a lot of other things I have to do today. And I might have to do it through Uber because my rental car is gone. And um, makes it hard, but I can take my, uh, I probably will do it in three phases instead of doing stops because that might be more expensive, but I'm going to look that up. I have three stops today and then I got to get home. That's my fourth stop. So we'll see how that works out. And that's my story and my move and I'm sticking to it. Talk to you soon.